Okay, in this video, we are going to make a build a bird house, not a build house. We're gonna bird a build house. We're gonna build a bird house. That's what I meant to say. I should have given you guys a sheet with all measurements in it, and we are gonna start with simple and go complicated. So, a lot of these are just simple rectangles that are just extruded. So, hopefully, this won't be too difficult. If you need help, of course, please ask. Hopefully, I'll be around. All right, so here we go. We're going to do this in inches, just to keep it simple. So you can click File, New. Okay, make sure it says English. And you're going to go Standard IN dot IPT. So double click that and open that up. Okay, the screen should have opened. Next step, click Start 2D Sketch. And then you're going to move your mouse over to the XY plane, and you're going to click that. Okay, now we're good. Okay. Um, we're going to do the side of birdhouse first. Okay, so if you flip to your sheet, you'll see that. Those are your measurements. Uh, so hopefully this will help you follow this a little bit. You're going to click rectangle at first. So you're going to click on the middle dot, and you can move it out. I would zoom out first if I was you. Now, Remember, if you press tab, you can go back and forth between these two. So I'm going to put the bottom one at 12, press tab, and this one at 8, press enter. Okay, press finish sketch, and then you're going to press extrude. You're going to click in there. It probably will activate it for you. Type 0.25 and press OK. All right, the first one's done. Um, I would like you to color these as we do them. I don't care what color you put because this will help in the assembly of it all. So I'm going to do gold as my first one. All right. So please press file and save as. It's really important you guys create a folder for this. So I'm going to go folder. I already have a birdhouse, so I'm going to go new, um, new birdhouse on mine. Okay. Open this up. And please say this as side of the bird house. Okay, this is really going to make a difference later on, especially when we have to put all these parts together like this. So we did this piece right there. Okay, so press save. So your first part's done. Good job. Okay, if you want to close this out, you're welcome to. Otherwise, you can just go up to file and new. And we're going to do another one. So English standard in.ipt. So double click that. Start new sketch. Click on the XY plane. Okay, we're going to do this again. Rectangle. Click on the little dot. Not a big deal if you don't. I'm going to zoom out so I can see my object as I need it. Remember, tab works. The bottom 12.5. The left side is six. Okay. Press finish sketch. Extrude 0.25. Guess what? You got another one done. You're knocking this out. All right. Click this. I'm going to do metal gold. I don't know why I'm sticking to golds in this one. Let's not. Uh, magenta. Why not? Wow, that's bright. Okay. Color it. Save as, save this as base of the birdhouse. Okay, that page is complete. All right. So, like I said, if you want to close it out, you can, or we'll move on to the next one. Most of these parts are just simple rectangles until we get to the front. So, file, new again, standard in.ipt, start new sketch. XY plane. Okay. Rectangle. It's getting really repetitive, so you should be good at this by now. Hopefully. So, 14 here. Tab. Oh, you see it went really big. I can zoom out, though, so I can see it. It keeps that 14 no matter what I do. Next one is 5. Okay. Same thing. Finish sketch. And guess how much you have to extrude this? 0.25. There you go. Color it, please. Like I said, I don't care what kind of color. That blue is eyeing me here. All right. 
Now this one is saved as right side of the roof. Please name these as I do it because it's going to make a difference later on. Okay. And if you want to keep the colors, that might help out too. If not, we'll figure it out. Okay. File. New again. Every time you have to make a new part on this program, you have to do a new file. You can't do the same part on, you can't do two parts on one file. Okay. English again. Standard in.ipt. Start 2D sketch. XY plane. All right, this is going to be the left side of the roof. So rectangle, press tab. We're back and forth here. 14, tab, 4.75. All righty. Go ahead and finish sketch. I've done this all this in under six minutes, and I'm not even hurrying. We're going to go out, 0.25. Okay, color this. I'm going to go black. All right, please save this as left side of the roof. Okay, that's done. I'm saving the hardest ones for the end. So, so far we have the side of the birdhouse done, base of the birdhouse, left side, and right side. Okay. Some of these things are using using twice. For example, you have um, the sides are the same, the the front and back are almost the same. So hopefully we can do this with little problems. Okay, now we're going to do the front. This is probably the more complex of the objects. Yeah, I know you're excited. File new standard in.ipt. Start 2D sketch. Click X Y plane. All right. So we're going to do this one a little bit different because we have to. So you're going to start off with drawing a line. You're going to click on the dot. You're going to go over 6 inches and up 8. Okay, over 6 and then up 8. Then I'm going to press escape. I'm going to press line again, and I'm going to go up to where this is right here. I could have done a rect... Sorry, this is 8 inches, so it lines up with this. I could have done a rectangle and just erase the top, but I chose not to. Okay. I need you to draw a line from the middle of this up and type 11 inches. Okay. Um, next thing I need to do is to create a line that goes from this corner to here and this corner to the peak of this. Okay. Now I can erase this line. I don't need any more. Okay. Now, just for the sake of argument, we're going to put some dimensions on here because when you make this thing out of wood, you're going to want to know what the tops of these things are. Okay. All right. So this is 11 inches up top here. So with the dimension icon clicked, I need you to click on this angle and this angle here. And that should say 135. You also could go up and go 45. Let's keep it 45. Okay. That way we're dealing with simple measurements. I'm going to do the same thing right here. If you get that error, just press accept because I want to see that still. If you want to know the lengths of these, you can. It's not a big deal. But if you do want to know what they are, all you have to do is click on the side of them right here with the dimension icon clicked. You move it up. You'll see on your screen this little angled dimension arrow. You click and then you go out. I'm going to just press accept just to keep that. You don't have to do that, but it's just an option. Okay. Um, next thing is we need a little Tweety Bird here to, to actually sit on or actually go into a hole here. So I'm going to click on circle and we're going to put this right in the middle. So you see those little dotted lines? That's what I want to see right now. So it's lined up in the middle and it's lined up on the left side. So I'm going to draw this out, type 3 and press the enter button. Um, we also, I'll do that next. Okay, so just for the sake of measurements, let's put measurements on here. So that's four inches over. So I'm clicking on the side. I click on the bottom. I go down. That's three inches over. I know that's not in your sheet. I should have put that on there. My bad. Okay, so this is now complete. Press finish sketch. You're going to extrude this out 0.25 again. Because that's what Miss Lancaster said. We're doing our measurements off of. Okay. So now we have to put this little peg on here. Here's how you're going to do this. You're going to click the face, 
and go create sketch. All right. Um, I'm going to put a circle somewhere over here. But first, I need to project geometry of this object. So click up here on the project geometry, and then click on the surface of this, okay? Because it's going to help us line this up. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to put this right above here. Looks like I've got to put measurements on here. So we're going to do a half inch in diameter, okay? And then we'll dimension it up from here, and we'll just do one inch to keep life simple for you guys. All right, press finish sketch. You'll extrude this out. Make sure you click on that, three inches. And now our birdie can sit on something. Okay, this piece is done. We got one more left, and then we're ready to do the assembly. So, can't believe I get all these in one video. So please save this as front of the bird house. It's very important you label these correctly. I know I've said that a few times. Oh, and I forgot to color it. Let's color it oh, driftwood. Ooh, that's cool. So let's resave that again. Okay, last piece. File, new, English, standard, in.ipt. Hopefully I go a little faster now. Start and start. Okay, this piece is going to look the exact same as the other one, just without the holes. Okay, so let's do this the other way this time. Let's go rectangle. Remember, tab works great. The top should be six, the right should be eight. All right, then I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to erase this top line right this. That way we don't have to worry about that anymore. But I do want to put this measurement here at the bottom again, just so it's there. Check that guy out. Okay. Line up in the middle again. 11. Okay. Then I'm just going to draw a new line from here to here. And from here to here. So that's all attached now. I'm going to erase this guy here because I don't want him. But we do need to bring back a new one. Just for the sake of dimensioning. Which that's important. I don't need this one because that's shown over here. I will show my angles, though, just so we're not going to assume. Okay? So if you need to pause the video, you're welcome to just to be able to till I get those in there. Um, if you need this, if you want to know what this is right here, this is 3 inches. You don't need it, but you never know when you're making the part. This could be important. That way you go 3 up and 3 over, and then you just make your angle. I'm not sure how that's going to happen, but... I'm going to try to help you guys out as much as I possibly can. Okay, press finish sketch. Extrude 0.25. Press OK. I'm going to go driftwood again just because I want the back and the front to look the same. We're going to change them all at the end anyway, so they're all the same, but I'm not worried about it right now. Okay, save this as uh, back of the birdhouse. Okay, press OK. You're done. Parts are finished. Um, the next video, which I will do hopefully very soon, um, will be posted shortly, but this will hopefully get you started today. Please look at the sheets. Like I said, if you want to follow the sheets, you're welcome to, but the video might help you out anyway. But if you're watching the video, you're obviously listening to me. So I hope this works out for you guys. Please ask questions. Um, And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.